All right, it is Sunday morning. It's about 9.30 a.m., I think. I um, have a super busy day today, so I tried to get my cardio out of the way. Yesterday was officially 12 weeks out, and the first week I lost about a pound and a half, so I'm pretty good. That's good progress. Um, not changing much on my macros this week. I plan to keep cardio to a minimum, really just walking. I'm not doing, I'll do hit like once a week, but I don't plan to do any walking, I mean like any running or bike stuff or I don't know. Th this is just all I'm going to do this week. Uh, officially 12 weeks out, doing cardio today, um, just my walk and the super busy day. So I'll try and keep you guys surprised with what's going on. I am leaving a event with my junior women's club. And I was pretty proud of myself because it's only 12 weeks out, but I mean, you got to stay on the diet and that's like the hardest part. And we went with brunch and mimosas and oh my gosh, I wanted a mimosa so bad. But I gotta stay focused and just do it. Um, it is Monday. Uh, kids are off school this week. Well, actually, the youngest one is back to school, but the oldest one, school still is out for another week. So we enrolled her in zoo camp here in Fort Worth, and I'm in the carpool line ready to pick up my kid. Can you guys see this? Anyone that knows the Fort Worth Zoo. So, pickup is at noon, and I thought I'd get here 10 minutes early. And it is crazy, like crazy. So, yeah, um, I'm really excited for school to be back in session so we can be back on normal days. I have a sitter coming over in the afternoon so I can attempt to work from home because I have so much work to do and I'm just getting behind and behind, even though my company is amazing and is letting me telecommute these two weeks, but it's just not the same as being in the office. So, um, the good news is I'm getting some pretty hardcore workouts in because I'm not having to get up and get dressed and yes, I'm wearing like workout clothes all the time. Anyways, um, this day is going pretty good. Um, actually it's going awesome because I officially re-signed up with my coach, um, Chris Jones with Beast Mode Training Camp. He did me, he did my last, uh, my last show prep with me and I really liked his approach. I liked um, the macros that he put me on and the way that I did peak week. Um, I actually liked peak week a lot better this time around than I did the past one. So I told him my goals of to potentially get my pro card and I'd like to win um, Bikini Open as well as Bikini Masters. So I told him the date that I'm looking at which is November 7th and he said he didn't think it would be a problem to hit that date. So officially 12 days or 12 weeks out as of yesterday uh, I told him the macros I had been hitting and he gave me actually way more food so I'm doing awesome because I got to eat a Lenny and Larry's bar today and I'm probably gonna get to have some more oatmeal and way more carbs than I'm used to which that's have you noticed I haven't moved one single step we're just sitting here so Basically, um, let me just tell you how zoo camp works. And I hear this is the way all drop-offs for camp are. So, ugh. Um, they, you fill out this little card and it has a kid's name and then the kid has their name on their, on their tag. And then they take, they go in to get the kid and then they come back out and bring the kid to the car, which is great. But there's a bunch of kids. So it takes quite a while to run through them all. Actually, I see parents that are walking their kids I think I'm gonna do that. I am gonna park. Never mind. I changed my mind. This is gonna be much easier. We are gonna park and go pick up the kid because holy moly, that's weird. crazy. I see Lana coming now. Let's see if she sees me. She sees me. This was way faster. Like, the first car hasn't even gone yet. 
And I have to wash these shirts every single day, like for real. Wednesday of my last day of summer vacay. I'm actually headed to Super Target. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get groceries because the girls are still at school and I mean at camp. So I'm gonna try and do my grocery haul. So this week is going to be meal prep sponsored by Target. No, not really sponsored. Although Target, I don't really want to be sponsored by anybody, but Target would be pretty dang awesome. Okay. Is it just me or is the Target dollar spot like a vortex? I swear, I come in here and then it's like I get all these great ideas of like, oh, I totally do need these eight count tags. Actually, I really do. Hmm. Okay. See, this, this happens every time. It's a dollar. And then I'm like in here for freaking 10 minutes looking at dollar crap. I came to Target because I have like two hours to kill before I pick up Lana from camp. Um because I had to call into a meeting anyway. So I'm here at Target and I was home for like, I don't know, 15 minutes listening to a telecom and I ate two meals within like 30 minutes because I was kind of so bored. Yeah, so that's why I'm here. These are super cute. They're $5, it's pretty good, right? Um, Yeah, so I am now here at Target, waste in time. Man, I... I won't even show you because if someone I know has those, then they're going to be like, oh, you're making fun of my clothing, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. Um, oh, so I ate my meals. So I felt like I had to get out of the house because I was going to eat all of my meals within like 15 seconds. God dang it, I'm going to end up buying these shorts because they're $5. Dang it. Cool. I hate that. Does that happen to y'all? Every time. If you're curious, those are not very good. Just FYI. Would you like to know what it's like with the two-year-old who doesn't nap? Ma'am, what's wrong? Okay. Mommy. Okay, sit right here. What do you want to tell the people? What do you want to tell the people? Um, elephant. Mm hmm. What about elephants? I want to wear elephants. <laughs> and what else do you want to tell them? A zebra. And a zebra? Yeah. And what else do you want to tell them? Stuff. A giraffe? Yeah. <laughs> what else? Um,. Kisses. What? Puppy. Puppies? Yeah, puppies. Okay, and where do you find all that? Um, puppy yogurt. All right, tell everybody bye. Bye bye. Say see you later. See you later. Alligator. Bye. I just finished fasted cardio. Today's a low carb day. I'm, I carb cycle, so I do two days of high carb and then one day of low carb. And <clears throat> low carb days suck. Let's be real, people. They suck. And in order to kind of maintain my low carb, the best day, the best thing that I do is I just have a protein shake for breakfast, and that seems to um, help get me through it. I saw a recipe on Facebook from like Dr. Bryce or something. He is a, I think he's a coach or a trainer out at Metroflex Fort Worth. Anyways, he posted this and I was like, oh, I'm gonna totally make that. Holy moly, it is delicious. Okay, so let me show you what it is. One scoop of your favorite protein. I use S'mores by Cellucorp. Six ounces of egg whites. Um, two ounces of water. And then I topped it with a sprinkle of PB2, Walden Farms, and a little bit of spray butter. And seriously, guys, this is one of the better protein pancakes I had. So this has something like 30 grams of protein, I think three grams of carbs, no sugar, no fat. Spot on, dude. It's so delicious. Oh, I put some cinnamon on it too. Good. Make it. Um, if you're low-carbing it, great pancake option. Thumbs up. 
Okay, it's Friday morning. I'm doing a little morning cardio. Um, woke up 117.8. Yeah. Um, I was after my low carb day too. But I'm going to be 100% real with you guys because that's what I'm trying to do this round is be as honest as possible. And low carb day, great. Had my protein pancake, which was delicious. Uh, you should go make that. Did good. Came home. Low carb lunch. Did a workout. It's all going pretty good. Lenny and Larry showed up at my door. And I thought they were going to send me three packages of double chocolate, but instead they sent me a double chocolate, which is my favorite, a snickerdoodle, which is damn good, and an oatmeal raisin, which kind of sucked. And I said kind of sucked because, yes, I tried all of them. I sent in an email to them because the last, like, three boxes that I got, all the double chocolates were kind of dry. So I sent him an email and just said, hey, did y'all change your recipe or something? Because these kind of aren't as good. And for 400 calories, like, they better be awesome. He emailed me back and he said they actually cook them at a higher temp, I think he said, in the summertime. So uh, for moistness issues. And he said, I'll send you some replacements. So I was really excited to get a replacement Lenny and Larry cookie. So of course I had to eat one when it showed up. But I looked at my macros, and even though I was low carbon, and I was like, all right, it's still in my, in my diet for the day. Um, then I opened up a snickerdoodle for my oldest, Lana, to try out, because she actually is not a huge chocolate fan. So I thought, ah, she's going to like this. So I cut it in half. I licked my fingers, and damn, it was good. And then I ate half of a cookie. And if you're familiar with the Lenny and Larry's, you will know that a Lenny and Larry's cookie, a half is one serving. So I then up, updated my dang macros to show that I ate three servings of cookies. I swear. Which then, by the way, no longer fit into my macros. I'm now no longer at a low carb day. I was 25 grams over. So whatever, I'll get back on it, right? We go out, we go have a good time. The kids take them to the park, all kinds of fun stuff. Came home, kids go to bed early, it's my rest day. So I was gonna, sorry, my arm's killing me. Uh, I was gonna go to bed early. I start getting sleepy, but man, my, I had my last meal at like seven o'clock. Come 9.30, I was starving. I'm talking starving. So I go into my kitchen. Now I should have had a protein shake, I know that. But what do I grab out? Freaking Honey Nut Cheerios. I sit there in my pantry. I should have took a video of this. Sticking my hand in the thing, just eating it. Mindless eating. I estimate I probably had a half a cup. Now granted, I think one cup's a serving. So that's not too bad. That's only like 20 grams of carbs. And I said, fuck it. I'm going to have me a bowl of cereal. I have not had a bowl of cereal with real milk. Shit. In like a year. I don't know. Two years. I can't tell you the last time I had a bowl of cereal. And I sat there and ate probably a total of a cup and a half of Cheerios. 2% Horizons Organic Milk. Whew. I gotta tell you, man, it was awesome. So, even though it's supposed to be my low carb day, because I wasn't lifting yesterday, I ended up getting a good 200 grams of carbs. It's pretty delicious. So, I can't be mad at my weight gain. That's what's gonna happen. And you know what, I'm not mad at myself either. It's just what it is. So I just gotta do a little extra cardio today, which is why I'm doing cardio, even though I'm not supposed to. And um, I'm going to do a, a leg day, too, because I got some extra energy. So anyways, yeah. When your weight goes up, the reason I'm recording this, I mean, you got to be honest with yourself. 
Did you cheat? Did you really follow what your coach told you? I gotta email my coach Sunday morning and I'm gonna be as honest as possible with him. I don't think he's gonna be happy, but hey, if I'm not real with him, how can he help me, right? So anyways, I just thought I would give this recording to let y'all know that everybody makes mistakes and it's just part of the process. So stay strong on your diet and uh, we'll see what my, my final weigh-in for Sunday is. I still am hoping for 116-ish or so. So we'll see. Anyways, there you go. So we are here at kindergarten registration and it is bananas. Um, it doesn't look like there are a ton of people, but I just went inside to pick up like Lana's new amazingly cute hair bows. Um, and shirts and this adorable skirt and um, seriously it was bananas so we are here letting them play the class list is not out yet for kindergarten um, so we have to come back here for Saturday for popsicles in the park but it should be fun oh there she is um, so let's watch her go go Lana I'll take a video be careful <laughs> Hold on. Good job, Lana. My little ninja warrior. So cute. 